the interview with Richie Power this week where he talks about uh, you know his, his troubles with gambling and obviously you've done a book about it yourself with your own journey. Well, what's the experience like for yourself when you're watching someone else bear their soul about, I suppose, broadly speaking, somewhat sim similar kind of troubles? Um, I just keep thinking back. People are always worried about the reaction. So Richie or Neil or Con or Davy or whoever it happened to be speaking about, and it's not just the, the gambling thing. It's it's a bit issue, but you know other issues also. But um, when they're speaking about the gambling and, and the, the 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 wondering about, I think they're wondering about the impact. The wondering is this the right thing to do? So you you're looking at somebody and you, you think there's an internal uh dispute or fight going on there as to whether this as I say this is a good idea and you just want to tell them like that that, that like 99.9 percent .9 of of what they have done not only will they have a positive reaction which I don't really think is even that important to them but the big thing is the, is that they, it will make such a difference and the spike in people looking for help after hearing what Richie had to say will be the same as you know, the nail situation and Davy and Con even after the all Ireland final last year. So um the good that it does is nobody can you definitely can't overestimate it. Uh but we can underestimate it and and, and I think you know uh, that that's the legacy of doing something like that for the likes of Richie is that it'll help so many people, so many families and, and it'll encourage so many people to get help who are in a similar situation. And for me, that's always the overriding feeling, even though the person themselves probably can't see that at the time. Um, that's the overriding feeling for me.